The practice of looting perceived treasures from conquered territories and destroying what remained was not new. Throughout history, societies, religious groups, and entire cultures have been victims of brutal destruction, mostly in the name of primitive intolerance of various ideologies, race, nation, religion, etc. While culture lovers may mourn the loss, there is nothing particularly radical about bad actors destroying art in the name of a cause. In the 2010s, the Middle East led the loss of arts and crafts, much of it ancient. The number of historical sites lost to ISIS increases every year. The collective power vacuum that followed the Arab Spring left vast swaths of land under Islamic State control. ISIS fighters come from all over the world, including the United States. This video will refer to the group as Dish, which is another name. Dish's insular interpretation of the religion fuels an incendiary agenda to violently remove symbols of the non-Islamic faith from the world. The group seems willing to let the agitators erase history. This video intentionally focuses on the historical sites and beautiful artifacts destroyed by these people, rather than the additional loss of life that accompanies such extreme iconoclasm. Temple of Balshamin, Palmyra, Syria. As the UNESCO World Heritage Center said, Palmyra contains the ruins of a huge city that is one of the most important cultural centers of the ancient world. The entire city of Palmyra is famous for its well-preserved Greek and Roman ruins. As a UNESCO World Heritage Site, Balshamin Temple is one of the most complete structures in the region. In 131 C, to keep up with the spread of Christianity, it was extensively rebuilt and converted from a temple to a church. It existed in this form for almost 2,000 years. Dish took control of Palmyra in August 2015 and relentlessly pursued its doctrine of destroying all artifacts deemed heretical. The Temple of Balshamin was located at the crossroads and was completely destroyed in July or August 2015. UNESCO declared this act a war crime. Temple of Bel, Palmyra, Syria. After the destruction of the Baal Shaman Temple in September 2015, Dish focused its destructive efforts on the nearby Bel Temple. Its namesake is a Mesopotamian name applied to various deities in the ancient Near East. The structure itself is about 2,000 years old and was built between the 1st and 2nd centuries. The temple was dedicated to the Semitic god Baal in Ad 32. This allowed the Temple of Bel to survive for more than 1,900 years on a site that had been in use for almost 5,000 years, but that did not stop Dish from raising it to the ground with just one explosion. Tomb of Jonah Mosul, Iraq. Jonah is a historically important prophet in Christianity, Judaism, and Islam. He is the only one of the 12 minor prophets in the Bible whose name is mentioned in the Quran. In the ancient city of Nineveh, the prophet Yunus Mosque was built over the site of Jonah's tomb, a holy site for Jews, Christians, and Muslims. Although the mosque is a place of worship, the idea of building it on a Christian site was enough to prompt ISIS to destroy the building in July 2014. After Dish was driven out of Mosul in early 2017, a system of tunnels was found under the mosque due to the damage. Archaeologist Layla Sally discovered artifacts in the tunnels believed to date back to 672 BC in the Assyrian Empire. Dish's failed efforts to rid the world of its artifacts have produced a remarkable archaeological discovery filled with the idols the world worships. Buddhas of Bamiyan, Bamiyan Province, Afghanistan. A group of monumental standing Buddha statues dating to the 6th to 7th century, which stood for more than 1,700 years, was reduced to rubble in a matter of weeks in March 2001. Coverage of the Taliban has fallen to the wayside in lieu of Dish, but the political party's history is not without atrocities. After nearly a decade of political upheaval after the Soviet withdrawal from Afghanistan, in 8889, the Taliban dominated worldwide news before 9-11, when it completely decimated historic landmarks. Unsatisfied with the issues caused by artillery and anti-aircraft weapons, the Taliban resorted to drilling holes to place dynamite throughout the statues. The detonations obliterated the Bamiyan Buddhas. 
Arch of Triumph, Monumental Arch, Palmyra, Syria. Before becoming one of Palmyra's most recognizable ancient sites, the Memorial Arch was once a tribute to Rome's victory over the Parthians. The arch was built during the reign of the Roman Emperor Septimius Severus on the ancient city's famous colonnade, which connected the Roman Empire with Persia. The Arc de Triomphe is known to lead to the ancient Temple of Baal and has been largely intact for 1,800 hundred years. That is, until D secured it with an explosive device in October 2015. Lion of al Lat, Palmyra, Syria. As Syria descends into chaos during the conflict, the Director General of Antiquities and Museums, Mamoun Abdul Karim, has taken desperate measures to protect all historical sites from indiscriminate aggression. The lions of al Lata deserve such protection and are covered with sheet metal and sandbags. But that was before the city fell into the hands of Dish. Dating from the first century, the lion was erected as a tribute to al Lat, the name used for the various goddesses worshipped in pre-Islamic Arabia. That the lions are older than Islam itself is clearly unacceptable to Dish. Abdul Karim declared that its destruction was the worst crime they have ever committed against the heritage of Palmyra. Deir Maraliya, Mosul, Iraq. Deir's Maraliya is the oldest Christian monastery in Iraq, which originally belonged to the ancient eastern branch of Christianity. Built over 1,400 years ago, the monastery was completed in the late 6th century and operated until 1743 when the Persians killed the occupying monks after refusing to convert to Islam. The building is a testimony to the historical importance of Christianity in the area. When the Iraq conflict broke out, out in 2003, the monastery was vandalized by Saddam's Iraqi tank units, international troops, and graffiti on the walls, and looted. American military chaplains took control of Dares Marilia Abbey and started to fix some of the problems caused by the conflict. In 2014, ISIS experienced a wave of territorial expansion in Iraq, first in the hard-hit cities of Fallujah and Ramadi, then capturing Mosul. The team destroyed Dares Maralia twice before the remains were bulldozed. Shrines of Muslim Holy Men, Timbuktu, Mali. In the summer of 2012, Mali saw efforts by the Movement for Unity and Jihad in West Africa to gain more control over West Africa. MOJWA, which emerged as an offshoot of Al-Qaeda, took control of Mali's three largest cities with the help of Ansar Dine, another Al-Qaeda-backed group. The newly acquired territory included Timbuktu, also known locally as the city of 333 saints, home to centuries-old shrines and tombs of Muslim saints. Zealots inspired by Al-Qaeda demolished the UNESCO heritage site because Timbuktu's mausoleum was mainly dedicated to Sufi Muslims. In 2013, when Fama Fama's forces advanced on the stronghold at Timbuktu airport, the militants set fire to thousands of ancient manuscripts before retreating. Various Artifacts and Ruins Nimrud, Iraq Nimrud was a major Assyrian city between the 9th and 8th centuries BC. The strategic location between the Tigris and the great Zabur rivers made Nimrud a major population center. Its lands were later found to be so rich in cultural and historical artifacts and sites that excavations began as early as 1845. Archaeologists have identified Nimrud as the biblical city of Kara, and Nimrud's findings have been on display in museums around the world for decades. After Deesh took control of the area in the spring of 2015, the group posted several several videos online in which members vowed to remove all remaining artifacts and ruins. In November 2016, ISIS withdrew from Nimrud, and when Iraqi forces recaptured the city, the fears of many historians came true. As local resident Hassan Mahmoud recalls, thousands of years of culture disappeared overnight. Ancient City of Hatra, Hatra, Iraq According to some, one of the oldest sites on this list is the ancient city of Hatra, founded as far back as 300 BC descendants of Alexander the Great. 
It has been speculated that Hatra may have been the capital of a proto-Arab kingdom that spanned the territories of present-day Iraq, Syria, Lebanon, and Jordan. The walled city has withstood sieges by would-be conquerors over the centuries, though its history has a list of rulers. Its structural layout and temples dedicated to ancient gods such as Poseidon and Apollo made it a venerable example of a Parthian city, and it was even used in the opening sequence of the film The Exorcist. The group turned its bulldozers on Hatra in March 2015, days after Deesh destroyed Nimrud. World Trade Center, New York City. Terrorist groups extend beyond their country of origin. Nowhere was this more evident than on September 11, 2001. The cultural significance of the Twin Towers doesn't go as far back in human history, but it would be irresponsible for this video to be incomplete without including them. Fake Contents of the Mosul Museum, Mosul, Iraq In 2014, the group captured the hard-fought cities of Fallujah and Ramadi, then Mosul. In the center of the city is the Mosul Museum, which was the second largest museum in Iraq at the time. Its inventory once included Assyrian and Akkadian statues and sculptures, including the famous winged bull of Nineveh. Deesh henchmen ransacked the Mosul Museum and destroyed almost everything inside. What they didn't know at the time was that much of that effort was wasted. Apart from a few larger items, such as the winged bull, most of the Mosul Museum's collection was transferred to Baghdad a few months before before Deesh captured Mosul. Propaganda videos are filled with rank and file members flexing their muscles to smash worthless fakes as Baghdad Museum Director Fawzi Al Mahdi described them. Do we need to rebuild historic sites ruined by terrorism, or just let it be in rubbles as a reminder of destruction? What is your thoughts? Feel free to leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications and you'll be the first to know when a new video comes. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.